Hi, boys and girls. This week, we're going to come together to just quickly review our skill of the week, which is short out. And we're also going to review some sight words. So let's try to break apart all these sounds. And then we're going to try to put the whole word together. We're going to remember that short O makes this sound ah, as in otter. So let's look at some of these words together. The first word we see is S-P-O-T. Let's break it apart and do all these sounds. sp a uh, Spot. That word is spot. Here's another word with short O. G O T. Let's sound it out. Do you remember what G says? G. Very good. G A T. G A T. Put it together. Got. Here comes a new word. O X. Remember O says A. Ah. Ox. 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 Let's do this one. B O X. B O X. B O X. Box. And here is the short O again for A. Uh. We can see that this is a proper noun because it has an uppercase letter, which could mean that it's a special name of a person, place, thing, or animal. So let's read it and then you'll be able to tell me what kind of a special proper noun that is. So it's uppercase B O B. B O B. B A B. Bob. Very good. Here are our sight words that we're practicing and reviewing. And I know, boys and girls, you could practice at least, you know, four to five words a week now since we've introduced all these words. Continue having fun with them by hunting for them in stories, practicing to rainbow write them. You can use shaving cream. You can play hide and seek with them if you put them on index cards. Just whatever you do, keep having fun and keep practicing about four to five words each week. Okay, so let's read these from top to bottom, from bottom to top, and then we'll try to read them in a sentence together. Where is go that come? Now let's read from bottom to top. Here we go. Come that go is where? Awesome job. Now let's try to read in the sentences, okay? I'm going to first read the sentence kind of slowly, and then I'm going to try to read it a little more fluently, which means a little more... Um, you know, not as broken up. I'm going to try to keep reading the whole way through. I'm going to remember that if I see punctuation at the end, I'm going to pause. Remember that this is a question mark, so that means that this would be an asking sentence. This, boys and girls, is a period at the end of each sentence, which makes these sentence telling sentences. And you'll notice that there's special names, which makes them proper nouns, so they need to have an uppercase letter. All right, here we go. Where are mom and bud now let's try to scoop a little and read that a little more fluently ready where are mom and bud very good here comes this one mom is in the tent mom is in the tent here comes another one number three bud did not go with mom Bud did not go with mom. Here his name is again down here, the same word. Bud is at that spot with dad. Try to read it the whole way through now, a little more fluently. Bud is at that spot with dad. Very good. The next one. They will come in at six. They will come in at six. Great job, boys and girls. Continue practicing these sight words and hunting for them in our stories. And like I said, try to read some simple sentences, or you can even practice writing some simple sentences at home with these sight words included.